Hello there! Guess what day is today? Today is Travel Tuesday! And welcome to the present road, Fermin and Sigori here. And today we're going to talk about our reverse culture shock after traveling for two years. We get asked a lot, how do we feel after being gone for so long? And so today we're going to talk about our top five things that we've noticed since we came back. Yes. Let's get to it. Actually, the first thing that we noticed when we came home, and it was right after customs, it was really, really noisy. And I think it was because for two years, we were really accustomed to picking up English wherever we could. And so many of these places, people speak English, but it's not their native language. But when you're home, everybody speaks English here. So now you're picking up on every conversation that's out there. It was just a little overwhelming. And yeah, it was super it was noisy. strange that we could understand everything. I was eavesdropping. Yeah, he's like, oh, did you hear what <laughs> that guy said over there? Is he like way over there? And you're just like, why am I hearing It was all a bit of overwhelming, actually. <laughs> yeah, so now it's back to normal. We don't have super hearing, but that was really, really shocking. We didn't expect that at all. The next one is laundry actually is way more than than it was before we left really yeah <laughs> for example before we used to only wash one towel which was our microfiber towel that was it that was our only <laughs> towel but now we have more towels we do now we have two full-size towels that normally the hotel would provide and we didn't need to wash yeah we gotta wash all this yeah and we have a hand towel and now we have to do sheets because the hotels used to do sheets for us. And that's not all. We have kitchen towels too. You get the gist that we went from one towel to a whole bunch of things that obviously comes with taking care of a home and when you're on the road, you don't have to worry about it. Laundry is a lot more time consuming than it used to be. <sighs> Since we got back, we're still really stingy with the mobile data. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, when we were on the road, we had to buy our data out there, so we were like super careful with how we use it. And when we got back here, we're still doing the same thing. Yeah. I still make sure that when I go out of the house, I turn off all my apps that would use data, only use Wi-Fi. Basically, we have almost all our apps on Wi-Fi yes. and barely any apps on data. But we're on Google Fi, so we are able to pay for just the data that we are using just like when we are on the road. That's probably why our behavior hasn't changed. Another thing that we didn't expect when we came back is like we knew the US was big, but it just felt so massive. Like everything felt so big. Yeah, everything is really big. <laughs> the food here is really big. So look at the size of this burrito. It's amazingly big. And look at Siori. Look at that, it's giant. Look at the size of my hand. Right. Are you going to be able to finish it? Uh, no, but I'm going to try. <laughs> okay. Yes, everything is really big. As you know, we were pretty minimalistic on the road because we had so little. And one of the things we were really excited about coming home is shopping at Costco and like ordering on Amazon whenever we wanted, whatever we wanted. Our moment of triumph approaches. <laughs> And we've actually found that we are not really doing those things like we expected. We haven't bought the Amazon Prime membership yet, and we're not really thinking we're going to. We do have a Costco membership. We just got a Costco we, membership yeah. for gasoline. <laughs> Mostly for gas. Yeah. We just don't buy as much stuff as we used to before we left. And it's kind of nice. In fact, our apartment is much more empty than it was before we left, not just because we donated things. We just haven't filled it and I, I hope we don't. So it's, it's quite nice to just live a, a more minimalistic lifestyle. Off the top of our head, that was our biggest culture shock. And if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Yes, so like we said, it's Travel Tuesday. We post travel related videos every Tuesday. See you next time. Ciao.